Well, I'm Chris Wolverton. I'm in the Department of Botany and Microbiology. Uh, this summer, we're working in the lab. We study, my lab studies plant responses to environmental stimuli like light and touch and gravity. This summer, we're focused mainly on gravity responses. Uh, we're looking at a, a, a host of mutants in a model plant called Arabidopsis thaliana. Uh, and those mutations are in auxin carriers, transporters that are in the plant cell membrane. Uh, and we're studying what happens to plants when they're missing uh, functional auxin carriers. Uh, so one of the students is working on uh, using some technology that we've developed that does image analysis and constrains the root at certain angles for long periods of time to, to ask the question, uh, how disrupted are these plants in their gravity response, uh, given that they're missing auxin transporters. Uh, the other major project in the lab has been looking at lateral roots and uh, how their, what we call their set point angle, the, the angle at which they, uh, they equilibrate when they come out of the primary root, um, how that varies when we vary nutrient conditions. Uh, in particular, we've been studying phosphate uh, effects on lateral root architecture. So those are the two big projects we're working on this summer. So this summer we're working on gravichopism on pin mutants, which is, we use this model plant called Arabidopsis thaliana. This is a four-day-old seedling, so we grow the plants in the petri dishes, and we set this up in, in front of those cameras in there, and we gravi-stimulate them, which means we stimulate these roots to gravity, expose them to gravity, and find out how they respond to gravity. Well, the most interesting part of the process is basically the rotado, the machines in there, we call them rotado machines and what they do is we set these roots up on the rotado and we rotate the motor which actually like stimulates the root at an angle. So we set this up at different angles like 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees or 120 degrees and we measure the root curvature over a period of time. Um, I'm Bhavna Morley and I'm from New Delhi, India. I'll be a junior uh, this fall and my major is genetics. So I'm really happy that I've gotten an opportunity to work with Dr. Wolverton in the summer science research program. I think it's a really wonderful opportunity for a lot of students um, and especially science majors who want to go into research. It is a great, great uh, platform for us where as sophomores or rising juniors we get to work in labs which is sort of rare so I'm enjoying this opportunity and um, I'm primarily working on a project which deals with uh, studying the effects of phosphate uh, on lateral roots it's, and uh, to transport and absorb phosphate in the plant we need uh, transporters. We decided to choose two important transporters which are called PHT11 and 14 to uh, proceed with our project. Um, uh, so our aim is to vary the concentration of phosphate by using mutants and uh, studying the effects that they have on lateral roots. Um, from prior work we know that uh, when plants are grown in low phosphate conditions the primary root growth is supposed to be stunted and the lateral roots grow denser um, but uh, we may or may not observe that because that's what research is all about but uh, we're hoping that we can uh, find some new exciting results which will help us carry on.